Hi everyone, today I'm gonna to show you what happens to your beloved cassette tape if your deck is not properly serviced. So to be able to shoot this on video I had to set up my camera and my uh, iPhone just like that. So here we have the camera and a macro lens attached to it and also an extender so that we can get even closer to the action and my old iPhone serving as an illumination and the action is gonna happen on this little window here you will be able to see this image here and um, it is on playback pose mode so you can see that the erasing head is already touching the tape it's heartbreaking to see it again but since this cassette was already a victim of this syndrome, I'm gonna just go ahead and show you guys what's gonna happen. I'll push record here, so you will be able to see this image. And let's go. So the tape will start slowly, go to the back side of the raising head, just like that. Oh my god. Just like, oh my, maybe it's gonna be safe. Oh, no, yeah, just like that. Ooh, shit. If it even stopped, that is awful. Did you hear the sound of the tape being smashed by the head? Yeah, just like that. Ooh, shit. So let's take a look and see what happened with the tape. Uh, where is it? Here we go. And the tape is completely smashed. Strangely enough, it is not something that happens with every single tape I put in. Uh, so let's try this one and see what happens. Uh, here we go. Pose mode. Record here and then play back and uh, hopefully nothing happens with this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just as expected. I don't know why some tapes do get smashed and some won't. So let's see what's going on inside the cassette deck with my homemade mirror cassette tape. This tape has a mirror inside so you can check the tape path inside the transport. So let's go ahead and set it here and pause. So the view from the window is just like that. Let's Press record here and play here. And nothing seems to be wrong. Well, after watching this footage on the screen of the computer, I could realize that there are some problems on the very left corner of the screen you can see before the supply capstan as it's called uh, the tape is wobbling it's not running smoothly so that means I have to adjust the tape path again after some time adjusting the tape path with my trusty ceramic screwdriver I can now play my precious tapes without having to worry 